Anyway, we just landed in Dallas. Uh, we're about to go straight to the show. What is it? Two o'clock? Three o'clock? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we we need to prepare for God's sake. We had to prepare. We had to get another. Uh, this is my fourth co coffee of the day. <laughs> Legit. Let's do it. Um, let's go. Just a quick vlog. Yeah. You know, just a quick, quick one. Let's see the show. <laughs> right. Whose shoe is more expensive, huh? Yours. Yeah, yours is yours a little supreme. Probably mine. <laughs> so we're here. It is Wednesday morning. We never. And I didn't pay retail. <laughs> we never leave Wednesday uh, day of a show. Usually it's always Tuesday. It's a, it's a close one. We're going to Texas. Yeah, we're going to Dallas. It's 7 a.m. Yeah, we usually have a, a travel day and then Dynamite we Day. We can already check in for our flight tomorrow. Back, back yeah. here tomorrow. This is a 27 hour 27 trip. hours. So you better get ready. We didn't sleep last night. We're going to you know be what? exhausted we're not gonna sleep tonight. So we land, and as soon as we land, we go straight to the building, and pretty much we're wrestling. Match one, right? Uh, yeah. No, Match well, we have a couple hours to prepare. But it's all, it's travel day, work day, it's all in yeah. one. When you're sitting down, hours. when you're sitting down for what? What are we going to be sitting for? Two and a half hour flight. Two and a half hour flight, and then driving to the arena and whatnot. Yeah. It's a lot of sitting. So it's hard to uh, get warmed up and ready in this cold weather because it sucks now. Yeah, I had frost in my car when we came here. It was 27 degrees in Brandon's car when snow. I... <laughs> no, yeah. but you could see snow on the floor, like ice on the floor. It's going to oh, yeah. be a rush, though. Let's get through this. And guess what? I'm getting home tomorrow. I'm going to drive right back down to Anaheim. I'm taking my family to he, Disneyland. He has to go to a, on a vacation once Every a month. Week. <laughs> oh. Every week. Wow. <laughs> Upped it. All right, guys. Clock starts now. Three, two, okay, these are just like those moving graphic bits. They just need you to just move around when they're announcing a match, you know, when uh, Excalibur has to do his whole rundown where he's talking like a, yeah. a fast, yeah. Uh, so, so start facing. Uh, yeah, uh, whichever way you want. We got to get both sides. So, okay. yeah, there you go. Turn and then uh, turn into the camera and pose. There you go. Oh, there's the smirk. Boom. And all right. Yeah, now let's get the other side. What do you mean? Uh, we need you to face the other way in case you're on that side of the match graphic. Hey, this is gonna sound maybe weird, but I don't, I can't. Well, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. All right. Can't turn. No, you did that side. We need you to turn the other side. Yeah. Okay. Now turn, turn towards the camera and pose. Uh, no. 
That was the wrong I way. I did exactly what you, you said. You turned right. Camera. You turned right. You got to face. The, the fa end game is me facing face you, Face this right? way, and then, and then turn towards me. Not a problem. Turn left. Okay. And go. What is happening? What? So not only did you not turn correctly, what the hell's going on with your walk? I just don't, I can't do this way. I can't go you, this way. Well, you, it doesn't what? look like you can even walk at this point. Like, I didn't walk, I was spinning around. Yeah, you turned and your legs did a weird I, funny you're thing. Kinda, it's getting in my head right now. Can we, Let, we lose the jacket? Let's start right, fresh. Do it again, do it again. Okay, hey, guys, on. guys, watch his walk. Watch his walk. Yeah, he's, he walked this All right. Um, look at that. So did you see it? You see what? Oh, his weird. walk, right? I'm not crazy. What? How do you walk? Let me see how you walk. Peter? His walk is weird, right? Mine's fine. Look at what, that, boom. What is the difference? Peter, can you turn left? Does it matter what he can turn or what he can't turn? We're on a team, dude. Don't embarrass me right now. Is it, is it his left or your left? His left. His left. It's your left. Yeah, I can turn yeah. to my left. Peter, walk in and turn left. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. What the hell's wrong with exactly you, Nemeth? Can't we What's just wrong with you? You and I switch places and it's gonna look like I'm turning left? No. I don't turn left, okay? It's a thing from when I was a kid. Are you Zoolander? I'm not Zoolander. It's just it's a serious thing. What's, Zoolander was based on partially a true story. Medically, that's a real thing. I cannot turn Ben Stiller has a weird Ben Stiller has a weird walk. Let me just do it. Everyone just get out of my face. Let me do this. Alright, we need to get him to hold still. He can't walk. Push up, see put your jacket on. All right, all right turns. I need a left. Yeah, right. Give me a left turn, correct. damn it. Right, it's left. Correct. Turn left. Left. The hunk can't turn left. Hey, Eddie Kingston, the hunk can't turn left. Hope you get He's out there. He's always lurking. All right, fuck it. Okay, Ryan Nemeth, uh, turn left. Big match coming up. Oh, it's hurting him. It's hurting him. We did it. You got it. Guys, today is a great day. Great. It is a very good day. Good. Because the elite are narrowing the margin in the series of the Death Triangle. It is now two to one. Death Triangle is up by one match. Isaiah, where do they go from here? You know where they go from here. All the way to match seven, which they will win. All right? I said it. He said it. From the jump, the Elite was going to win the next match. And look what happened. Play the rebuff. Look, look, look at this. Look what happened. You see? The knees. Now, the knees. Th those knees were nasty, I said. I know you know how it feels to come off the top rope yeah. and feel some knees protruding into your gut. Jeff Hardy did that to me. I know you know how that feels. This is why Matt Jackson is a top tier performer. He is. Because that knees came in last minute. Yeah. It was a clutch play. It, it almost reminded me when Stephen Curry did that to Russell Westbrook when the Warriors faced um, the Thunder. The Thunder, yeah, Oklahoma City Thunder. And remember when Stephen Curry hit that, that clutch three to win the game? It was just like that. Clutch three from Matt Jackson. A lot of a lot of people were saying that Matt Jackson's legacy was on the line for that game. It was. And I think it's safe to say he solidified his legacy as one of the greatest tag team and trios wrestlers he of did. all time. He did. We know what's so significant about that game. What? Well, that match, they didn't use their finish. You see, Matt Jackson is so smart. So smart. He knew that Pac's face was messed up. Yeah. If you look at this footage here, as you can see, Phoenix was guarding Kenny. From getting into the ring. Smart move. Smart move, bro. I'm here to tell you. Because he thought that pocket just the black arrow. Yeah. Little did he know, Matt Jackson, clutch play. Clutch. Got his knees up. Clutch. And got the one, two, three. So look, hear me out. Based on this data, it shows that the elite is projected to win the whole series. You see this data. That's definitive proof if I've ever seen this. And I would say the elite maybe have the most haters. They do. In professional wrestling. But I'm here to tell you this. We don't care. And <laughs> we as, don't care. As you can see, our usual guest host isn't here. Yeah. You see what happens when you hate on the elite. You see what happens. You don't, got, you don't get brought into work no more you when don't. you hate on the elite. You don't. You don't get brought into work no more. You don't. Because as you can see with this data right here, 
the elite have the strongest possibility of winning this. But do you think it's going to go to a seven game series or do you think that it's going to do, do you think the elite win the next three games and doesn't need to go to seven? You think they do it in six? Also, I think it may go to game six. Actually, it, it might go to game six. I think it go to game six. So, so I think you're you're saying the elite win these next three games. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I no feel doubt like in your mind. I feel like the elite has Death Triangle figured out. But the, it's they, very evident. It's but, very evident. But the thing with the elite is there will be no. They would have to have no room for error. And as we said before, the Death Triangle, they have some intangibles that the Elite don't have. That is they true. have the crowd on their side. They have the hype man, Alex Aberhantes. And they have that little bell hammer that they keep hitting the Elite in the head with. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as you've seen, the Elite felt like a little desperate in their last match. I think they felt a little bit desperate. And they had to resort to tactics that they're not usually willing to do. Like, they attacked the Death Triangle before the match even started. They did. They were diving off the but, stage but that, doing but, all that. But that just proves that the Elite is willing to do whatever it takes to win. And that's and that's characteristics of a true champion. You want to go the extra mile to win the match. So, you know I love the Elite more than anybody. I love the Elite, too. You, you know I, I'm an Elite Dick Ryder. Ryder. You're a Dick Ryder. With no license. Yes. With no license. You're, you're Dick Ryder with no license. Yes. So, what I'm saying, it, but I'll be honest about them. And I think the elite maybe get a little bit too comfortable. Like they had to be under two games to nothing to have to resort to those tactics. Yes. Death Triangle was, was resorting to those tactics before a match even happened. They were willing to take it there. Yeah. The elite wasn't willing to take it there until yeah. they felt that pressure. Okay, but here, here, here's, here's, here's the reason why. The elite is so good, they didn't feel like they needed to do that. You know, they relied on their talent and skills, but now, a Death Triangle want to uh, bring in the hammer? Guess what? The Elite is going to jump you in the entrance. You're not going to have no entrance. You're not going to have no Cyril Mero. You're going to have an ass whooping from the Elite. You saw in the last match, yes. Penta tried to use the hammer. Penta did, yes. And him and Phoenix weren't necessarily on the same page about how they wanted the end of the match to go. They mm -hmm. had a little bit of a dispute. How do you think the the relationship between Pen <laughs> how, do you, how do you think the relationship between Phoenix and Penta is going to come into play? Some people are saying it's a little bit of a <clears throat> Yoel Embiid, uh, Ben Simic situation where there's too much talent on one team. Maybe they can't work cohesively together with Pac to come into this win and get a seven series game. So, so here's the thing. If you ask me, I feel like that's going to be detrimental to Death Triangle because there's obviously a rift. You know what I mean? There's obviously a rift, and when the teammates are not working together, there's gonna be uh, some disconnection. There's not, you're not gonna be fluid. And those are two brothers. Blood brothers, brothers, brothers. And, and the elite are basically, basically brothers. Have we ever seen Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson not on the same page? Never, right? never, I because never they're, locked, they're locked in. They're, they're locked like in. Stephen Curry and Clay Once Thompson. Once we locked in, ain't no switching up. No, continue. That's the only part I know. Once we locked in, ain't, ain't no, no switching, switching up. Because you know that the Young Bucks is gonna be up. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for coming to another episode of AEW with Isaiah and Daniel. And maybe Quinn will be back if the Elite lose. Maybe Death Triangle can get him flown in on private jet for the week or something like that. But I don't see it happening. I think the Elite tie the series tonight at 2-2. Two to two, And I think they go on to win it in six matches. Thank you, guys. Come back next week. The Young Bucks are now mini-mates. Diamond Select Toys unveiled the newest member of its wildly popular mini-mates collection, the Young Bucks. In this special two-pack set, Nick and Matt Jackson donned their distinctive ring gear worn from all out, including those fantastic jackets. Each mini-mate stands two inches tall, features 14 points of articulation, is fully interchangeable, and includes a display base. It's limited to 2,000 pieces. Fans can pre-order starting Friday, December 23rd at DiamondSelectToys.com. Let's go. Hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job.
drop cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? Snapdragon party! Oh, it's a party! Yeah. Hell yeah, Kenny! Happy holidays from the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. Has your grandmother been run over by a reindeer? Have you been the victim of prejudice because you're a misfit toy? Is someone not giving you the two front teeth that you deserve? It may be the holidays, but I'm still working. Don't believe me? Ask my client, Nick. When I got in that sleigh accident three years ago in Pittsburgh, I thought Christmas was ruined. All the toys were gone. Well, Smart Mark Sterling got me a cash settlement so fast that I was able to Amazon the rest of the toy for the boys and girls and save Christmas. That's right, folks. I saved Christmas, and I can save you too. Call now, and happy holidays. Thank you, Smart Mark Sterling. Ho, ho, ho. Call 347-SMART-40 to speak to Sterling. Operators are standing by. Oh, I'll do that. But hey, you guys are needed for photos right now. Let's go. Come on. Are you kidding me? Photos? It's close to Christmas time. This is ridiculous. They want us to. They're not paying me enough to do effing photos every freaking week. For God's sakes, man. For God's sakes. Or whatever. Uh, you gonna get dressed or what? <laughs> Let me get my stupid headband on. Uh, no, I am not going to get dressed because we are not doing photos. <laughs> Sit down. Are you kidding me? Sit down. Are you, hey. are you kidding me? It's, it's taken care of. Okay? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Uh, just chill out. Relax. Right. Thank God. I'm getting undressed. All right, guys. Give me kind of like, kind of like you're standing off here. Let's 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 save the, the buff pose for, for last count. Like, let's see one of these things. 
All right, uh, Nick stand in. Can you give me more of an aggressive kind of stance here? Uh, no, the, the Nick stand in. Uh, uh, Matt stand in. Can you just like, uh, yeah, you can do that too. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, uh, th no, that's that's Kenny's move. Hold on, hold on. Nick stand in. You gotta relax for a second. Matt stand in. Yes, to the to the to the right. No, I mean to the Nick stand in to the left. No, you got no Nick. Nick stand in. You gotta do to the right. And then Matt. No, don't do the, no, not the super kick yet. We're not doing that yet. Nick stand in. Hold on. I'm still. I'm trying to direct you guys. Can you guys just. Chill stand-ins, come on. It's our first Christmas as a married couple. I got you a little something. I got you something. Ooh, thank you. Yay. Hey, look at that. Mister. Mister. <laughs> and a little bunny rabbit for my bunny rabbit. Yeah. You know, he's going to love that. A little bunny, a little bunny buddy. Aww. I like that. Okay, what'd you get me? What'd you get me? Uh, a literal little something. A literal little something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it from Mexico. Octagon from Mexico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you go with the bunny? Yeah. And then, oh, oh my gosh, is this the teeniest, tiniest little it's a little bookshelf. library for the librarian? And it's actually like it's all in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Merry Christmas. And this is a real book. They're full books. Yeah. I know, I, I figured uh, for Christmas, you know, since our first Christmas together, that you could be an honorary wingman. I would love that. Peter. I, oh, I messed up. What to? What? Come on, you know you want to. Come on, come on, come on. Put her there. Ugh. Come on. Such tips. I it's the holidays. With my wife. Mm -hmm. I can be a great wind woman, just saying. Oh, it's weird if it's weird when you're in the middle of us. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, we just finished the dynamite. It is late at night. We stopped at Wendy's for a Dave's double, no cheese. Hour nineteen, we got eight more hours. And uh, then we're home. Yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna sleep a couple hours, probably not. Uh, <laughs> we're heading back home to Ontario, California. I'm gonna drive up to where I need to go and I'm driving right back down to go to Disney. What do you think about that, Kenneth? Cheers for that. Yeah, I'll drink to that. Hey guys. I'll drink to that. How's your ankle? Next? And I might have a broken uh, ankle. I shoot a broken one. Yep. But hey, be fine. You got a broken spirit? Be fine. That's every week though. Yeah, see you back there. <laughs> We made it home to Ontario, California. This is just really getting me festive in the holiday spirit. The sweet little voices of those angels behind us. 26 hours into the trip. 27. 27. We forgot there's an extra hour because we have to drive, so it's 28 hours. I haven't slept. I'm so tired. <laughs> number, number three for the or trip? four? I, I don't even know. For the trip? Ten? Jeez. <laughs> We're going for a day. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Music to my effing ears. See you next week. See you next week. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. This kid's are slaying it. Hey, did you like that video? This is it. Oh, no. This is Nick. Ten, Hey, did you like that video? Click the screen for more. And to support us, visit shopaew.com because we're the elite, the the elite. Nick, come on, you gonna do it? Yeah, you're right, now that we're heels. The, the elite, elite, the, the elite, elite, the elite, the, the, the elite. elite. Who wants free merchandise? I do, I do.